Four Bulls and the Lion Once upon a time, there were four bulls and a lion. The lion had been watching four bulls grazing in an open field. He had tried to attack them several times, but they kept together and helped each other to drive him off. Every time the lion tried to attack, they get together to defend each other. They turned their tails to one another so that whichever way he approached them, he was met by the sharp horns of one of them and hoofs. However, the lion never gave up and could not keep away from that field, for it is hard to resist watching a good meal, even when there is little chance of getting it. Finally, the lion thought of a plan and conspired with a fox. The four bulls were of different color and size and the lion decided to use their difference for his advantage. So, together with the fox, he started a rumor about how different the bulls were from each other, and how one bull is better than the other. started trusting what they heard and started to feel I am the special, and I am better than the other bulls feeling. The lion also spread a rumor about if one of the bulls were not with them, the lion would not have come to eat the remaining three bulls. They started quarreling and finally they separated from each other. The lion succeeded in sowing enmity between the bulls and in breaking up their trust and unity. The lion found them in separate corners of the field, as far away from one another. So, he hunted and killed and feasted on them one by one. Unity is strength. Hence, united we stand, divided we fall. When we are united, we can surmount any challenge. We can overcome even the toughest problems if every one of us unite and work together. If we stick together and listen to each other, then we can overcome the conspiracies of our enemies and avoid our failure. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe. We have more than 100 interesting moral stories for you. Share this video and inspire others. Like this video and inspire me. Stay positive and stay blessed wherever you are.